Will technology evolve us into a new species? Scientists feel a new species of superhumans will exist in the future, and that's Homo Optimus. Who could talk to machines? Superhumans may be digitally immortal by 2050, but rather than do good, countries are now engineering such technology for war, and the Pentagon is right on top of the game with the US military cyborg soldier of 2050. Check it out, this is eerie, and you're raring to watch, but take a few seconds to click on the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. The battlefield of 2050 will need super soldiers. The battlefield of 2050 will not be an open field. It will be dense urban environments and subterranean megacities making identification of targets and distinguishing enemy from friendly or civilians a challenging task. <laughs> The multi-domain battle space will require a highly competent soldier equipped with superhuman capabilities, enhanced vision and super analyzing and computational abilities to make spot decisions during battle. The only answer to such a highly capable soldier is the cyborg soldier, which is what the US military is planning for by 2015. The US military's ambitious cyborg soldier project. In fear that foreign governments may have already embarked on such projects, the US military has just put forward their own proposal of a cyborg super soldier. The project to fuse machine and man seems to be the new agenda of the Department of Defense, which has just commissioned a study on the topic titled Cyborg Soldier 2050, Human Machine Fusion and the Implications for the Future of the DoD. Stephen? Can you hear me? The study has triggered a storm of debate and even one gone near viral. It seems the US Army believes that a scenario straight from the movie Universal Soldier could well become a reality by the year 2050 when scientists just like Tony Stark may possess the technology to transform an average soldier into a future Captain America or cybernetically enhanced super soldier. The human demand biomechanical parts will lead to cyborg soldiers. The US military study says that cyborg technology will be a human demand out of the need for more body control, to replace limbs or maybe substitute body parts rendered useless after injuries or ill health. Advancing biotechnology will cater to such demands, giving humans more technological and digitally enhanced body parts. As the study says, the benefits afforded by human-machine fusions will be significant and will have positive quality of life impacts on humankind through the restoration of any functionality lost due to illness or injury. Such enhancements will lead to cyborg-type humans, and it is only logical that such demands of humans to become cyborgs will eventually lead to the super-soldier. The Real-Life G.I. Joes the U.S. Army Combat Capabilities Development Command Chemical Biological Center's roadmap of the new super soldier is like a G.I. Joe come to life. Using technology, the U.S. Army hopes to equip an ordinary soldier with capabilities and gear like an exoskeleton that will allow enhanced movement, super neural power to communicate with every resource on the field, including DARPA. Moreover, the soldier will have enhanced cognitive function connected to machines, enhanced vision, and even have telepathic powers. By 2050, the study projects that every cyborg soldier will have four major enhancements. A Super Enhanced Optogenetic Bodysuit The super soldier will have an enhanced restorative and optogenetic bodysuit that will enable muscle control to be programmed through a sensor web. It will rejuvenate tired muscles and refresh a soldier on the go. An optogenetic augmented suit will mean musculoskeletal injuries would not just restore function but also initiate healing and recover instantly. The suits will not be permanently attached to their bodies, but will be programmed to control a soldier's body to enable it to perform tasks that a human body is not suited for, such as super speed, super flexibility, the ability to jump higher or even possess super strength, making the soldier a complete war machine. 
The suit will have a micro vest that will feature adaptive body heating or cooling depending on conditions and climate. It will also support a variety of war and battle conditions. Exoskeleton Suits Unique to the suit will be an advanced exoskeleton with human augmentation capabilities that will enhance the performance of a soldier, giving them the ability to run at super speed. And you're reducing those stress injuries. You completely circumvent the knee joint from here to here. It will also allow them to move swiftly in spite of the loads they carry and reduce fatigue of limbs in activity. Soldiers getting physically tired could be refreshed faster. Ocular enhancements for imaging, sight and situation awareness. The cyborg or super soldier will have ocular enhancement for super imaging abilities and improved sight and awareness. Today, the US soldier has to wear bulky night vision goggles to see in the dark. The super soldier's ocular abilities will be enhanced in either of two ways. The first would be by making bio changes to the eyeball with an ocular enhanced system placed on the retinal tissue of the eye. Data streams would transduce through the optic nerve, where acquired information would be fed as raw data stream to be interpreted by the brain. Eyeballs to be replaced by biomechanical vision. The second procedure would involve replacing a soldier's eyeballs so that data could be fed directly into the optic nerve that lies behind the eye. This means that the visualization factor would become completely mechanical and a soldier would see much like a robot or Robocop. This will allow the soldier to see or read data across every possible spectrum, not even visible to humans. The eye of the cyborg soldier will be a completely artificial one, capable of detecting any type of sensory data feeding it into the brain for interpretation. Supervision to see what even humans can't. With digitally enhanced ocular systems or artificial eyeballs, a soldier would have supervision beyond the normal visible spectrum. The lenses will feature digital zoom integrated with augmented reality to be able to project valuable and critical data directly analyzed from various wavelengths in real time to determine enemy positions, friendlies, presence of enemy installations, civilians, etc. The ocular enhancement will project every possible scenario onto a soldier's point of view to make accurate and correct decisions on the field. This will also enable a soldier to be thoroughly competent. What's more, the ocular enhancement will be offered to soldiers with eye injuries or eye disease, making them willing participants in allowing removal of healthy tissue, replacing it with biomechanical supervision. Auditory Enhancement for Communication and Protection Hearing is critical on the battlefield, and currently soldiers wear noise-cancelling ear protection to screen out the noise of weapons. The ear protection is relatively bulky though, and a much smaller compact headset would be created. Most of this advanced technology remains classified. Better still, the auditory system would be modified and enhanced for super hearing, and even provide improved protection with noise-cancelling ability. Neural Enhancements now, this is the biggest one of them all. Neural enhancements of the human brain will be a common modification for the cyborg soldier with two-way data transfer in short telepathic abilities. This is a revolutionary concept to make the super cyborg soldier not just a telepath compliant with humans, but also with machines and a range of communication devices. The cyborg soldier will be able to communicate with anything powered by artificial intelligence and using smart communication systems to be able to share instant information on the battlefield in real time. Just imagine yourself being able to communicate with your smart gun or a powerful weapon or even an unmanned drone or stealth fighter, communicating with it and guiding it from the ground, much like a mythological beast master communicating with animals and seeing through their eyes. The only difference being technology. Moreover, soldiers will communicate with each other without even requiring communication devices, just like the Navi tribe in the movie Avatar or even Magneto of the X-Men. Neural enhancement of the brain will make a soldier manage a battle from a distance. To enable neural enhancement, soldiers would be implanted with a neural interface consisting of a number of electrodes implanted inside their brains that would even heighten their senses. The placement of electrodes within the brain will enable efficient communication between man and machine. 
Hey, doctor, what happens if I take an exoskeleton with the little asshole inside? The huge advantage of neural enhancements would enable a cyborg soldier to manage and administer warfare from a safer distance, tapping into external transmitters and processors to gain access and guide machines and weapons to do the job. Because of the complexities of the task and functions, neural enhancements will be restricted to one super cyborg soldier who will be the pillar of support and the manager to an entire squad interacting with unmanned armored vehicles, unmanned tanks, drones and fighter aircraft. Like we said, the beast master of machines. Humans could also benefit from biomechanical enhancements. The study involving the cyborg soldier also discussed several possibilities of how enhancements could improve human health, cognitive function and physical capabilities. By implanting brain chips, people could work faster, have more access to memory or access information on the internet without a device. The possibilities are endless. The invention of synthetic blood could give humans faster speed, strength and stamina, while genes could be edited to deliver babies with fewer risks of disease. The project Cyborg Soldier has met with debate, voicing support and condemnation in equal measure, citing ethical values. The big question for the US remains is while scientists and the country conform to ethical values, other governments may have already got such projects underway. Shouldn't the country be battle ready with an equal match? If you were fascinated by this video, click and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content.